learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina because painkillers can be just plain killers. Unbelievable. Despite having an injury-riddled defense, the Gamecocks get five stops in the second half and score the last 14 points to outlast the Ole Miss Rebels, 48-44. Coach, congratulations. We've all never really doubted the toughness of your football team, but today they made plays when they had to. Well, no doubt about it. You got to give our kids credit. They fought hard. It wasn't always pretty, but you know, in all three phases, there were some good things that happened, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Did some nice things on special teams. Good to get Debo back on track to start the football game, but really proud of our team that we were able to make some plays at the end to win the game. Coach, uh, I know you've got to talk about that secondary. There were times out there, there were not jersey numbers I didn't recognize. Yeah. And I know you were worried about that, but they really played well. We had four freshmen at one time on the field all together uh, at linebacker. Uh, Damani's really first major time playing. You had Ricky Sandage and JJ up front playing for the first time. So really proud of those guys stepping up when they needed to. Coach, on our Palmetto Health injury report, I'm not sure you can fill that list out, but give us an idea if you know about how bad a couple of those guys are. I'm not really sure how, how severe any of the injuries are. We're going to know more and, and certainly on our press conference on Sunday night and, and we'll update everybody on Tuesday. It's a, it's a long list, right. unfortunately, but, but but again, I can't, I'm so proud of the guys that stepped up and I'm really proud of our crowd. At the end of the game, uh, we have more garnet and black in the stands than there were red and blue and our fan base is phenomenal. Yeah, when Mon Denson runs a long run inside the five yard line, you would have thought we were at Williams Bryce. Great day to be a Gamecock as always, but certainly over in Oxford in Mississippi, the Gamecocks take down Ole Miss 48-44. We'll have highlights when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers, fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock Football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. want a car from a company that's been building them for 115 years, get a Ford. If you want Waze and Amazon Alexa compatibility, get a Ford. If you want a car that doesn't have any of that, get anything but a Ford. Otherwise, you're going to want a Ford. Right now, get a 2018 F-150 with 0 for 72 or 11790 in total savings only at your Carolina Ford dealer. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them. Teaching and being in the classroom is just where my heart is. My hope for the future is that I can change at least one child's life. There's not a single profession that you make more of a difference in. Every child in South Carolina, somewhere in their K-12 experience, is taught by a graduate of the University of South Carolina. From the beginning, I was immersed in the classroom. They're designing the lesson plans, they're running assessments. I'm able to actually make a difference. I would not be able to say that I am the person I am today without the experiences that I had at Carolina. 
Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. And welcome back. It's time for our Toyota key to the game. Toyota, let's go places. And coach, you come here with that explosive offense that was averaging 497 yards a game of total offense or so. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot of secrets. How'd the team do? Well, we adjusted well in the second half. We gave them way too many explosives in the first half. We played more man coverage and, and pressured a little bit more in the second half. We pressured in the first half. He made some throws. Mm -hmm. They made some plays in space. And, and again, when they create so many space plays, one missed tackle is not a four or five yard more gain. It's a 20 yard more gain. So just again, continuing to play better in space. I thought offensively, we got on track running the ball. Obviously, Mons run late in the game, but we controlled the tempo on offense. And that's and that was why we had some success, in my opinion. Lots of highlights. And the good thing is, the Gamecocks came out on the right side of it. Let's go out to Vaughn Hemingway Stadium. The Gamecocks and the Rebels and uh, Jake Bentley and a start on the road. And Coach, you decided to take the football here. Well, we did. We felt like that was our best matchup going into the game. We wanted to get Debo on track. We really missed really two kickoff returns last year, last week uh, of one block. And here, well blocked. Nice job by RJ. Real good job by Israel. And then, and then Debo makes a really nice move on the kicker right there and gets the ball in the end zone to get him back on track and know that we've been close. Uh, really, really proud of him, and, and you get started fast on the road. So you got to give our kids some credit here. We come out defensively and hold them to a field goal on the first drive here. Critical third down, go play well in the red zone. Really tight coverage right there. You know, in that situation, I think that was R.J. Roderick, a true freshman. Hold them to a field goal. Feel good about the drive as far as they hit a couple things, but we did a nice job playing some things. But really nice. We worked on our screen game a lot this week, and uh, Tyson Williams, a huge run in the open field, making some guys miss again. And we got to continue to do that. They run us down there uh, inside the five yard line, but you see we're very well blocked Malik Young, Debo Samuel on the perimeter. And uh, we go to a tempo situation and get the ball run in there with Tyson and a nice job and a nice surge by our offensive line. So you go up 14 to three, we need to get back here on defense and go make some stops and a huge play, a lateral being thrown and really heads up play by DJ Warnham. Sees that it's gonna be a lateral. So we recover the ball, we come back down again. We got another opportunity to, to get the ball in the end zone to go up 21-3, really nice protection. Good job by the check down right there with Tyson Williams. Uh, Jake was accurate with the football all day long. And here we hit the big third and eight, man. That's a really nice thrown, well thrown ball. Only can shy can catch it. Does a really nice job of getting the ball inside the five. We need to get seven points in a game like this. That concerned me. If we had been inside the two, I'd have gone for it. We were a little bit further out. But here you see that an RPO. You got a tackle in space. You see RJ doing a nice job of getting him on the ground. But uh, that young man's going to be a really good football player. They come back, and we really got to edge the football with Damani and turn the ball back to TJ Brunson. We lost leverage on the play, but uh, come back right Right there, it's a 17-10 ball game. They're moving the ball up and down the field. It's a four-point game, but here we are. Fantastic grab by Brian Edwards. I mean, wow, he catches in a one-hand catch. Phenomenal catch. I see him in practice every day. That's you know just really good to see him make that kind of play. Very well thrown ball by Jake, where only Brian can make a play on the ball, and that's a phenomenal catch right there. That's that'll be on Sports Center tonight. That's a man's catch. He got 75 yards on that one. He got the score as opposed to the 73 yarder a week ago. Here's. Tamu running again, Coach, yeah. very gifted. Well, really frustrated there. We didn't get aligned, and, and that's ridiculous. So we, we got to get aligned, get our cleats in the dirt, get ready to play. But we go up seven with two minutes to go before half. We really need, need to make a stop. And unfortunately, we give them a little bit of momentum. If we make the stop here, the clock's going to run out. They're not going to have a chance to get off another play. Uh, so, so really thought we had an opportunity here in the power play to make a stop. We didn't. Coach, uh, tied at 27. What about the um, adjustments you decided to make at halftime? Anything on defense? Clearly, you got the stops in the second half. What'd you do differently? A little more man coverage and a little more pressure. We felt like he he, he struggled when he we were throwing the ball into tight spots uh, in the in the zones, especially off the play action. They were creating some seven man protection, and it was really hard to get pressure. He was holding on to the football and creating zones down the field, and they were very hard to defend. Got three sacks and five stops in the second half. Let's take a look at them. As always, our highlights brought to you by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Athletics, tied at 27. Well, they get the ball to start the second half and they come here on a pump screen, which they had hit a screen on us. And again, we're in a zone look here. He hits in between the safety and the linebacker or nickel. Uh, really nice throw. Well thrown.
own football. We make a stop to, to hold them to a field goal so that they get three out of the drive, which is good. Uh, and we come back here offensively and a really nice job by Jake pulling it. Get the ball in the perimeter, really nice block by Brian Edwards. And then Shy's really good in the open field. Thought he might have been, hit the edge right there for a touchdown, but fantastic play. We come back uh, and, and again, Jake hits Shy across the middle, gets us inside the five. Unfortunately, we get, this is where we get the holding call. Uh, no, excuse me, that was the next drive. This is Josh Vann's first touchdown catch yep. from Tucker High School there in Georgia. Uh, we draw them all sides, and Jake really makes an outstanding throw, f drops it right over the defender, right where he needed to. Huge play on third and two by Shamik Blackshear. We needed to make a stop in that situation. They came with the same play they scored on the previous drive, and he makes a stop. Uh, they come back right here. We're up four. They score. It's a nice design on their part. We've got to leverage the formation a little bit better. Uh, we went for it right here on a fourth down situation. I felt good about you know, trying to keep them off the field. Uh, we didn't convert. Uh, they come back down the field and, and, and punch the ball in uh, to, to take the lead right there, now making it a, a 10 point game. Gamecocks, again, they tried a variety of things, Coach, in kicking to Debo or not to kicking to Debo, and he gets another one here, a 30-plus yard return yeah, and gave a good field position. Huge answer. It's a 10-point game, 14 minutes. we got a lot of time, plenty of time to play in the football game. So we come right down and offensively we answer, and that was a huge, huge drive. Really nice job on the comeback to Brian. Brian's really strong at the top of the catch. He's very difficult to tackle in the open field. Really nice job here by Josh Van, a true freshman. The corner cats, he comes, he sits the route down in front of the safety Jake hits him and then really nice job by AJ Circle and the defense on the down around scheme and we've been really effective with that scheme running the football so now we come back it's a second nine situation and Ricky Sandage I believe this is his first sack as a Gamecock he and TJ Brunson they'll fight over it but uh, both of those guys that was a really nice job closing for a true freshman and here's a huge run by mom they miss a tackle miss another tackle and he's running through contact and at this situation really thinking about ball security and get the ball into the end zone their guy does a nice job with a tomahawk there, and, and, and uh, Don uh, Mon holds on to the football. But you know, we consider all four of those guys starters. Really proud of Mon stepping up, and this is just a gutsy play. It's third and goal. They cover it well, and then Jake goes and gets the ball in the end zone. It's bottom line, you got to go make a play in that situation. So we go take the lead and, and don't relinquish the lead. We get a couple stops on defense here. This is a huge fourth down play. Uh, same route they hit us on a third and 14 earlier in the game. True freshman J.C. Horn makes the play here in his home state of Mississippi. Again, getting that right hand in today, and the Gamecocks did what they needed to do in the second half. Over 1,100 yards of total offense, but the keys were those four or five stops in the second half when the Gamecock defense came up. Carolina winners today, 48-44 over the Ole Miss Rebels. We'll check some of our superlatives when we come back on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp. We've all been there. Gridlock, but this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. It's got Pro Pilot Assist and can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead and can help keep you centered in your lane. Get a low $199 per month lease or get 0% financing for 60 months on Rogue. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football in your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. Oh, wow. Look at you. You got a Ram. What made you do that? A lot of reasons. A comfort you wouldn't believe. Luxury everywhere you look. Not to mention legendary Hemi V8 power. Maybe I should switch. More people are switching to Ram trucks than ever before. And now get $1,000 bonus cash if you make the switch during Ram Power Days. And now get an average 11578 in total values on the 2019 Ram 1500.
off the carrot, fields it at the 10 yard line. Samuel through the middle of the field, even when they don't kick to him, he makes something happen. Three career touchdowns, make it four. Debo, touchdown. Bubble pass, Williams makes a man miss. First down, Gamecocks inside the 30, off to the races. Straight ahead, touchdown, Gamecocks. time in the last 14 meetings it's been decided by a touchdown or less in this series welcome back to Gamecock football with Will Muschamp it's time now for our Ram truck film room here we are coming in again I think the first thing you're going to notice on this play is Jake obviously claps to see a movement of the defense which obviously he's working himself and he knows right now he's getting pressure so that's where the fake clap helps him so he's able to see, hey man, we got pressure coming right here. That lets him determine where he wants to take the football. Well-designed play. Coastal had been pressuring us early in the downs and we wanted to go try and get a screen. So really nice job by Rico Dowdle. He doesn't panic. You gotta be tempoed if you just go release and somebody's gonna feel it. But as a nice job of releasing on the screen right here, Jacob August is going to block the inside linebacker. The inside linebacker is blitzed. So really smart here, he's in man coverage. He was gonna take his defender as far as away from the ball as he can. And nice job by Sedaris Hutchinson and Donnell Stanley of number one, you gotta take a little something off these pressure guys. You can't let them have a free run at the quarterback, but nice job of working down into the alley and making blocks in the open field, which is more difficult than you think for a 300 pounder. Boy, the timing of those two offensive linemen, Staley and Hutcherson, is amazing on that because they're sometimes the first one to give it away. There's no doubt about it. So it's really good here. And then really Donnell wants to work to the alley and then peel back. Alley, peel back, exactly the way you draw it up right there in a nice run by Rico. Hutcherson there just waited just the right perfect moment to slide out and 22-yard uh, touchdown. Now it's time for the Quackenbush contract construction update on the Long Operations Center. It'll be exciting to see the lobby finished, and it's probably going to be that piece of the puzzle that is at the very last because we packed so much stuff in there. Um, uh, again, there's going to be interactive technology, there's going to be a lot of custom furniture in there, a very dramatic stair, and then uh, probably the most dramatic feature is a very tall glass wall with a large block C on it that'll be lit at night that you can see from Bluff Road. So should be a very, very dramatic space. Can't wait to see that one come together. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them. Teaching and being in the classroom is just where my heart is. My hope for the future is that I can change at least one child's life. There's not a single profession that you make more of a difference in. Every child in South Carolina, somewhere in their K-12 experience, is taught by a graduate of the University of South Carolina. From the beginning, I was immersed in the classroom. They're designing the lesson plans, they're running assessments. I'm able to actually make a difference. I would not be able to say that I am the person I am today without the experiences that I had at Carolina. All right, 
I'm here to unbox the powerful new Google Pixel 3, and I'm at Verizon, the network chosen by Google. Ooh, this is it. How's the camera? Oh, it's not just a camera. This has the power of Google Lens behind it. What's that do? Well, it lets you search what you see on America's most reliable network. So, I just found out who makes those special edition sneakers and where I can find them. Dude, there's nowhere you can find these. <laughs> I beg to differ. Now buy one Google Pixel 3 and get one on us. The phone you want, the unlimited plan you need, on the network you deserve. I would tell myself, just be where your feet are. Just work on you. And looking back, that one decision gave me the chance to rewrite my story. That moment I decided to go back to school. And now, I help protect some of the world's largest companies from cyber criminals. It still blows my mind found more than a job. I found a way to make a difference. Good hard work has earned Parker Howard the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the men's track and field team, Howard is a sophomore sport and entertainment management major with a 3.567 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life the benefits of good hard work. Here's Luke Logan to kick off, and it's a low line drive, returnable. And it bounces one time, and Debo tries to pick it up at the 10. He does so. Up the near hash, one move at the 20. 25 30. Go, Debo. 40. Gone. He's gone. Debo at the 50. Go get him, Debo, at the 40. 30 of Ole Miss at the 20. 10 5. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. 90 yards, that's how you started off at 11 a.m. on the road in the Southeastern Conference. Boom! Eric Douglas was the up back, an offensive lineman that was unable to field that. It carries off of him to Samuel. He takes it to the house. It's almost like the timing was immediately skewed on that return. And the coverage team, I think, kind of let off the gas when they saw Douglas incapable of fielding that football and just enough for Samuel to find his way up. That's our Sandsbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Debo back, 90 yard return. That's the fourth of his career. And coach, I can tell you, I rode over on the bus with you and I saw the efforts your staff was using to get make sure everybody's ready to go to come out here to play at 11 o'clock locally. It's a 12 o'clock game. But that did it. Debo to start that off really ignited your sideline. We were close last week. We had two blocks on two different returns. We felt like we were about to hit it, and, and we knew we were close. And that's why I really wanted to take the ball, put Debo on the field, and get our best matchup was our offense versus their defense on the field and, and start quickly, and we did. The first since his kickoff return against Missouri in September a year ago. Congratulations. Now our Terminex Pest Player of the Week, Coach Jake Bentley on the road clutch plays all day long. I mean, I don't know what you say about your quarterback. We're very accurate with the football. I think he was 14 of 18 at halftime, but uh, took the ball to the right spots. We put a lot of things on him at the line of scrimmage in the check game, in the run game, in the pass game, and different changing protections and things, and uh, just played a really good football game. Gutsy play right there to, to score, to take the lead. To, uh, they covered it well and does a nice job of getting the ball in the end zone. Had two touchdowns and ran for another one. That one was the game winner. Congratulations to Jake Bentley. Now it's time to hear from Mike Carolina. My Carolina is giving back to the place that gave me so much. My Carolina is lifelong learning and finding my home. My Carolina fosters opportunities for endless growth. My Carolina is friends, family, and a place to call home. My Carolina is a lifelong connection to my alma mater. Ah, another truckload of Toyotas. What a sight. Yeah, during Toyota's national clearance event, we've got the last of the 2018s. <laughs> and super low APR financing. Maybe that's why they go so fast. Okay, that's got to be a record. Right now, during the national clearance event, lease a new 2018 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cab V6 for just $219 a month for 36 months plus $500 bonus cash. Save on the last of the 2018s. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. 
During this year's certified South Carolina grown Palmetto Series, we're promoting Fresh on the Menu, a program that connects South Carolina farmers with area restaurants to bring you meals made with fresh locally grown ingredients. Or try creating your own Fresh on the Menu meals at home. So download the Fresh on the Menu app today and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. And go Gamecocks! We've all been there. Gridlock. But this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. It's got Pro Pilot Assist. And can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead. And can help keep you centered in your lane. Get a low $199 per month lease or get 0% financing for 60 months on Rogue. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina because painkillers can be just plain killers. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers, fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock Football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back. Coach, a game like this will take it out of you. You certainly enjoy the celebration for a night or so, and you got to get some Gamecocks healed up because the Florida Gators are up next. Well, again, they got a good football team. Dan's done a really nice job uh, putting them in the position that they are, uh, playing them down at, at their place at Florida Field. So we look forward to it. we got to bandage some guys up, and, and uh, I know one thing, we'll take a group down there and we'll fight. Apparently so. That's what they did today, and they came out on top. Gamecocks winners, 48-44, in front of an incredible crowd. Had no idea that many Gamecocks were coming over, Coach. A lot of them in the stands. The most loyal fan base in the country and for a reason, and they support us, and it really, our players feed off of it. You think in terms of our road games, and you know, that jumps out at Nashville, the bad weather we went through at the end of the game, it's all garnet and black, and then we emptied the seats here, and it was all garnet and black at the end. Well, great to see them, and they were the winners today, 48-44. We'll see you next time. It'll be in Gainesville, Carolina, now 5-3 and three on the season. Going to play in another one in the East. And we'll see you on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp.